crunchy outside, cheesy gooey inside. Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you cheesy leftover rice and zucchini balls using air fryer. No more oily deep frying, only air frying. So let's begin. To prepare the quick batter, here I have half cup of chickpea flour, basin known as paprika powder as per your taste, salt to taste, mix all dry ingredients. Next, add water as you go and prepare the lump free thin batter like so. As you can see, it is thin batter. Here I have zucchini. Just going to remove the uh, stem and shred zucchini. All right. And squeeze water from zucchini as much as you can. You can just drink zucchini water. Here I have white cheddar cheese. I'm going to shred. You can shred fine or you can shred little bigger. It's totally up to you. So I have the consistency like this. All right, cheese is ready. Into the mixing bowl, take leftover rice and just make it crumbly. Add cheese, zucchini. Now I usually avoid adding salt. But if desired, you can. Uh, cheese is salty, rice is already cooked with salt, so I just don't um, add any additional salt. But you can add as for your preference. Here I have complete seasoning, which has onion, garlic, uh, some herbs like a parsley and everything. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of a complete seasoning. Red pepper flakes. And here I have black pepper. So freshly ground black pepper, mix all really well, mm, smells amazing here, alright so it is mixed well, next take ice cream scoop and take mixture into your hand and make a ball. Make sure your rice is sticky rice so that it starts forming the ball immediately. And prepare the ball like so. And I'm going to prepare rest of the balls. Alright, so here I have all the balls ready. So here I have the zucchini rice and cheese balls ready. The batter ready. And here I have breadcrumbs. I'm using panko breadcrumbs. You can use your favorite. Uh, whether gluten free or however uh, you want to make this recipe. So first I'm going to take one ball at a time, roll into the batter and into the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to do the same with all the balls. First into the batter and then into the breadcrumbs. This will help us to make the zucchini balls nice and crispy then you can just press with your hands to get the breadcrumbs get into the batter and look at this so into the batter into the breadcrumbs and just lightly press the ball to get all the breadcrumbs into the batter. So I'm going to finish doing the same thing with all the balls here. Alright, so I'm done making all the balls. Look at all these balls. They look already yummy. 
All right, so here I have the air fryer. Preheat the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes. I simply love to use air fryer these days to prepare quick snacks. The air fryer is preheated. Take out the pan from the air fryer and start arranging the balls inside the air fryer. Do not put too many at a time. All right, next, spray all the balls with oil. Now this step is optional, but I kind of like my uh, rice balls crispy. So I usually coat them with oil. And pop the tray back inside the air fryer. And I'm going to set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes first and then I'll see if I need to bake further or air fry further. So start. All right, so let's check. Ooh, look at them, I love the color. They have turned out perfect and I can hear the crunch as well. Some of them just popped out, but that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to remove them from the pan and bring down onto the serving plate. Be careful if you are using with your hands. They're not really hot, but I recommend to use spoon or something to take them out. And don't forget to garnish with some fresh parsley. Serve with your favorite sauce. I love to serve with marinara sauce. And look at this rice and zucchini balls. Let me show you the one that popped out slightly. And you can see Cheesy, ooey gooey rice ball inside. Alright, so here I have cheesy rice and zucchini balls ready. They look so amazing. I really love the golden brown color and I'm so ready to dig into this. Mm. Crunchy outside. Cheesy gooey inside, and I hope you can really hear that crunch. Into the air fryer, thanks to the air fryer actually. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, quick recipe into the air fryer. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. And you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. And you can also download Bauna's Kitchen app on your Roku device, your iPhone, your Android phone. And uh, don't forget to follow me on social pages like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So Bauna's Kitchen is almost everywhere. So stay in touch. Thank you for watching and see you soon.